Welcome back ladies and gents. We are in the city of Tumkur today. It's a bit noisy here and I'm about to show you guys what a traditional burger is. An Indian burger, it's called a Wada Pao. Let's go try it out. It's very hectic here. Secure the package. It's just a basic bun. Look, party here. Some cheese, some mayonnaise, and the sauce. Let's give it a shot. Mm. It's quite cold. Okay, so I've got a funny story to tell you guys. Right here on this road yesterday evening, I got stopped by a traffic officer because the road was a one-way apparently, even though there wasn't any sign that said, said it was a one-way. I was literally following three other bikes in the same direction, but they literally all drove away when the police signaled, but I, I was the only one that pulled over. They immediately asked me to pay a 500 rupee fine and strongly hinted that there could be a possibility that I paid less. Them, that's them suggesting that I give them a bribe and let them put the money in their own pockets without them giving me an actual receipt. That's the last thing that I wanted to do. I wasn't bothered even if I paid a little bit extra on, in the fine. I wasn't going to let the, that fat piece of cow dung profit off of me. So in the end, I ended up paying the 500. I got a receipt for it and the money actually went to the government rather than this guy's pocket. And then I said bye and I drove off. <laughs> this is a big confidence building experience. Walking through this big hectic road, wearing this crazy ass fedora, talking to a damn camera. This is not, this does nothing more than improve one's confidence. And make sure you say subscribe guys because you're going to be getting a lot of good content this year and like I said I'm going to be giving my best to give you guys the best content. So make sure you say subscribe, tell all your buddies to subscribe, put it on the family group chat. You're going to be getting some good quality, high quality content. Namaskara, sir. So in India, they still have the concept of local theatres, like individual family owned theatres. In the UK, we're used to multiplexes and cineplexes like City World Odeon and stuff where you get multiple cinemas but over there in the distance you can see an individual theatre it's been passed down from generation to generation and they have different screenings at different times but this is exactly where I got caught by the traffic police guy I showed him my UK provisional license and I got away with it it's like a dodgy looking UK provisional license your provisional license in the UK is basically a learner's license I showed him it and then he was like 500 rupees one way that over there in the distance is a local theater it costs about 130 rupees to get in for a standard ticket and 150 rupees for a balcony seat you always have to go for the balcony if you get the 130 rupees one you're gonna get bitten by mosquitoes and you're gonna get malaria The key is you've just got to be confident in anything you do in life. You've just got to be confident. I guess I'm talking to a damn camera in the middle of this busy street wearing this crazy fedora. But at the end of the day, this, this, I'm not going to see any of these people ever again. So why should I even care what these people think? And you shouldn't either. Do what you want to do. Don't care about what the haters say. Talk to a bloody camera in the middle of this hectic street. Be a crazy little Do whatever you want. That's my message to you guys. Do what you want to do in life. 
don't care about what other people think or you're always going to be unhappy. That over there in the distance is a classic Indian car, it's called Ambassador. Back in the day, back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, that's what all the big politicians and members of parliament of India used to drive in. That there is an Ambassador. So this is where, this is the place that I was born. This is where it all started for me, Tumkur. I come back here every year. My mum's parents, my grandparents, so they live here in Tumkur. At first vlogging was a bit nerve wracking, holding a camera on and talking to it obviously. But now I'm, I'm sort of, I'm sort of acclimatized, accustomed to the trend of vlogging. Right now, we're going through this little dungeon. I'm going to take you guys to this cool little chill spot. It's a little terrace in this little building here. I come here every year as a kid and I just love chilling up there. Probably going to see quite a few crackheads up there. If we could find the staircase, it's right here. Let's walk up these steps. Do you have any friends up here? Oh no, we're all alone. But, just like chilling here, it's a good place to hang out. That's my granddad's house right there. That there is a tranny, a transgender. So in Indian culture, they're very superstitious about giving money to transgender people. So if a transgender asks you for money, you're, it's, it's bad luck basically if you don't give them money. So that's why you see a lot of transgender beggars and people are quite scared if they don't give the money that they'll get bad luck. So that's why they end up giving money to transgenders. And that there was a transgender beggar that we just saw down there. And that is all for me today, guys. I'm so happy I got to show you guys my birthplace. I really love coming back here every year. I hope you enjoy the story about the corrupt police officer. And stay subscribed. You're going to be getting a lot of good content. Get all your buddies to subscribe. It really helped me out. Thanks for watching. Stay peace.